A fire hydrant has a rated capacity of 1,235 gallons per minute at 20 PSI. A field test shows that the static pressure of the hydrant's water distribution system is 90 PSI and the residual pressure is 45 PSI. What is most nearly the test flow rate? Okay, let's go ahead to our FE handbook and find the formulas for fire hydrant. All you can do is just type fire hydrant and it will take you to this page in civil engineering, water resources. So this is the formula for the rated capacity of a fire hydrant. And we have that the rated capacity equals to total test flow multiplied by HR, which is the static pressure minus 20 PSI divided by HF, which is the static pressure minus the residual pressure, all power 0 0.54. Let's go ahead and write this formula down. So I'll go ahead and say that QR equals to QF multiplied by HR over HF all power 0 0.54. So this is the formula. Now let's see what are we given in the problem. So we've got the rated capacity, which based on the FE handbook, rated capacity is QR. So we have, I'll write it down here, QR equals two, one, two, three, five, GPM, gallons per minute. We also have the static pressure is 90 PSI. So static pressure, which is PS, PS equals to 90 PSI. And the residual pressure, which is PR, is equal to 45 PSI. There you go. What is most nearly the test flow rate? So total test flow, flow rate is QF. So we have to calculate QF. There you go. Now QF, we're gonna calculate it out of this formula. So from here, QF is gonna be equal to QR, divided by H R divided by H F power 0 0.54. Great. Now let's see what is H R and also what is H F. Let's go back to the FE handbook. H R equals to the static pressure minus 20 PSI and HF is static pressure minus residual pressure. So we have HR equals to static pressure minus 20 PSI, and HF equals to the static pressure minus residual pressure. Okay, so HR, It's going to be equal to 90 PSI minus 20 PSI. And it equals to 70 PSI. And here HF is equal to 90 PSI minus 45 PSI. And HF equals to 45 PSI. Great. Now that we have this, we can come back here to our formula. This is HF. 
and calculate HF. So QR rated capacity is 1,235 1, gallons per minute. And it's important to mention also that, or to look at the units, that the discharge is in gallons per minute and pressure is in pounds per square inch. So we don't have to transform anything. Everything is in the units that we need. Now, HR is at 70 PSI divided by HF, which is 45 PSI, all power 0, 54. Use your calculator. See how much do we get. So I'm going to do 70. 45 divided, 0 0.54 power, and then I get 1, 2, 3, 5 divided by that. So I get that the test flow rate is 972.86 gallons per minute. And it seems that the correct answer is C, 970. Next problem. A fire hydrant is discharging to the atmosphere at a rate of 1,125 gallons per minute from a 2.5-inch smooth, well-rounded outlet. Most nearly, what is the pitot pressure of the discharge? Okay. Let's go back again to the FE handbook. And if you go a little bit lower underneath the formula for calculating rated capacity at 20 PSI, you have this fire hydrant discharging to atmosphere. And the formula is the discharge equals to 29.8 multiplied by the diameter squared multiplied by CD CD is this hydrant coefficient based on hydrant outlet geometry and multiplied by pressure power one over two or square root of that. Okay, let's go ahead and write this formula down here. So I'm gonna write that Q is equal to 29.8 multiplied by diameter squared multiplied by CD coefficient and pressure power of one over two. Perfect. Now let's see what do we know and what we don't know. So we have the diameter given in the problem as 2.5 inches. And we're also told it's smooth, well-rounded outlet. So I'm gonna go here go down a little bit in the FE handbook. And uh, we have a smooth, well-rounded, which gives us that the coefficient CD is 0 0.9. So I'm gonna write CD is equal to 0 0.9. Next, we have the uh, discharge Q which is 1125 gallons per minute. And most nearly, what is the pipe pressure of the discharge? So we have to calculate the pressure, pipe pressure. So it seems here we have the discharge Q, we have diameter, we have CD, and we gotta calculate this pressure. So out of this formula, I'm going to say pressure power 1 over 2 is equal to Q divided by 29.8 multiplied by diameter squared multiplied by CD. Now let's get rid of this power 1 over 2. The way we do that, we can square both sides. So this is equivalent to pressure equals 2 
the discharge 29.8 multiplied by diameter squared multiplied by the CD all squared. Let's go ahead and substitute. And we're going to get that 1,125 gallons per minute over 29.8 multiplied by diameter 2.5 inches squared and multiplied by 0 0.9 of this squared. Let's go ahead and use the calculators. So I'll have 2.5 squared, 0 0.9 multiplied, 29.8 multiplied, 1125, I'm going to divide by that. And now I will square this. So I get a pressure of 45 psi. OK, looking at the answers, option C seems to be the correct answer. The pitot pressure of the discharge is 45 psi. Problem number three. A fire hydrant being rated for capacity has a square sharp outlet with a 2.5 inch diameter. The pita pressure of the discharge is 53 psi and the residual pressure during discharge is 36 psi. The static pressure of the system is 93 psi. Most nearly, what is the rated capacity of the hydrant? So now we know the rated capacity is the QR. This is what we have to calculate. Q, R. Let's go ahead and lay out what are we given in the problem. I'm seeing a diameter of 2.5 inches. And we are told that it has a square sharp outlet. Let's go ahead and look at that CD coefficient now that we're familiar with it for a square sharp outlet. Square and sharp gives us a CD of 0 0.8. Great. The pitot pressure of the discharge is 53 PSI. So given the pressure of 53 PSI. Perfect. The residual pressure is 36, so PR thirty six PSI and the static pressure PS equals to ninety three PSI. So this is what we are given in the problem. Let's go ahead and now write the formula for the rated capacity QR equals to QF, if you remember, multiplied by HR over HF, all power 0 0.54. Let me go ahead and verify that so I make sure I have this all correct. HRHF is 0 0.54. Now let's go ahead and see if we can calculate these two HR and HF. So HR is static pressure minus 20 PSI and this is going to be 93 minus 20 equals to 73 PSI. And the next, let's go ahead and calculate HF, which is static pressure minus residual pressure. So PS minus PR equals to 93 minus 36 equals to 57 PSI.
Perfect. So now we have HR. We have HF. And we need to calculate QF. So let's see. QF is going to be equal to the discharge into the atmosphere. So let's go ahead and calculate QF. The formula is 29.8 multiplied by diameter squared multiplied by coefficient CD and the pressure power 1 over 2. This equals to 29.8 multiplied by diameter, which is 2.5 inches squared. CD is 0 0.8 and multiplied by the pressure, which is 53 PSI. power one over two. Let's go ahead and use our calculators and see what we get. So we have 53 square root of that, 0 0.8 multiplied, 2.5 squared multiplied, 29.8 multiplied, and I get QF equals to one, zero, eight, four, point seven gallons per minute. And now let's go back to the initial formula to calculate the rate of capacity. So we're gonna have one, zero, eight, four, point seven multiplied by HR, which is 73, divided by 57 power, 0.54. And let's go ahead and calculate that. 73.57 divided 0 0.54 power multiply by that. So I get that the rated capacity is equal to 1,239. Wait a second, 200, I said. 1,000. 239.8. This is GPM, gallons per minute. And looking at the answers, it seems that answer A is the correct one. The rated capacity of the hydrant is most nearly 1,240 gallons per minute.